Lillian Doyle in recent weeks. He may be 38, but Danny Brough will certainly be playing a big part of any success that comes Bradford's way in 2021. So we're up, up and away here at Odsall Stadium. Let's have some fun. It's the rearranged round six fixture between the Bradford Bulls and Newcastle Thunder here at Odsall Stadium. Bradford looking to make it seven on the bounce. Newcastle looking for just their second win of the season. And what a scalp it'd be here at Odsall Stadium, ending Bradford's six game unbeaten record as we see Newcastle Carrying it there with Kieran Gill. He's a real danger for Raymond O'Carroll's side. He's scored seven tries so far this season. And he's really been very potent with ball in hand and also his support play. As we see former Bradford player Mikey Wood carry the ball up to halfway. Or just shy of halfway. On the fifth and last tackle, says James Child. The kick's going to come in. It goes down from Reece Dean. That one's out on the full. And perhaps we've just seen the first error of the game, which is attributable to the narrowness of the field. Yeah, but... Missed the last two. Back in with a chance this afternoon. Bradford hunting first points. Crossfield kick. Looking for Evans, Pam back towards Lilly, Lilly towards the line, and Jordan Lilly has somehow managed to squeeze past Jack Johnson and Matty Wright, and Sam Halso also involved in that tackle. Pulls people in positions and, uh, and, and, and picks the passes. Danny Brough will attempt the conversion from this main stand side. He was eight from eight last week, and he is one from one. He is the highest championship goal kicking in terms of accuracy. Last tackle, five metres out from the Bradford line. It goes to Shorrox, keeps the ball alive with Wilde. Back it goes to Shorrox, to Halsall. Halsall wrapped up there by Golding. Somehow gets it back here towards Reece Dean. Reece Dean peppers one along the grubber, along the carpet. And Reece Dean was chasing his own kick there. And Reece Dean will score for Newcastle. The try's given underneath the post. And Newcastle, they kept the ball alive. Wizardry, the version attempt of the new season. This from in front, and it's Bradford Bull 6, Newcastle Thunder 6. What's the message going to be coming on, Ryan, from Mark Dunning and John Keir? I'll just be finished with Football League. Dave Rotherham, Paul Medley, Ralph Frimmer for re-evaluating and looking at that decision as Doyle finds Ellis Robson. And Robson is going to go underneath the posts here. So from talking about the academy to talking about Bradford's second try of the afternoon, great support play from Ellis Robson. Really pleased for Thomas and, and, and Ellis Robson just backing up and, and pushing on a, on a good play. Danny Broth adds the extra two from in front. And it's Bradford Bulls 12, Newcastle Thunder 6 here at Odsall Stadium. Really? Ellis Robson underneath the post here for the Bradford Bulls. Doyle to Ant Walker. Ant Walker has crashed over the line. And what a moment for Ant Walker. Four years out from the professional game on his fourth appearance for the Bradford Bulls. He has his own. And what an impact. Bradford, two quick fire tries. And Danny Brough adds the extra two points there. So here at Odsall Stadium, Mick Leddell, Ryan Humkin on the Our League app and Our League platform is in contention for John Keir's Welsh squad for that World Cup in October. But here come Newcastle, Kieran Gill looking for try number eight of the season. And Kieran Gill will get try number eight of the season. And Ant Walker had wrestled some momentum back. This is a crucial kick from Dean between the posts. And we have a six-point game of rugby league here. Last tackle, it goes back to Danny Brough. And Danny Brough, cool as you like, sends that one between the posts. And Bradford do get drop goal number six of the season. In there. Last tackle, says referee James Child. Brough grubbers one in, it's come off the post. There's a try here to the Bradford Bulls. Steve Crossley will win the game. Set match. Bradford Bulls 23, Newcastle Thunder 12. The game management. Steve Crossley picking the ball up and putting it down. And Danny Brough goes out to four from four this afternoon. And it is Bradford 25. Newcastle 12, perhaps a little bit cruel on Newcastle there, but update as well on the 
Brad England who left the field. They're trying to pinch one out of dummy half. And that is going to be Bradford's fifth try of the afternoon. And Tom Doyle gets try number three of the season. Maybe not had the bounce of the ball every now and again, but no, they've considerably worked hard. And I think Eamon O'Carroll will be proud of, of what they've done. Jordan Lilly gets his first conversion of the afternoon. Free from free.